got the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. Yeah, the first one was alright. Just so different from the other ones. Isn't it? original 90s waiting in line for the new star wars movie we're not really waiting in well line. there will be a line oh <laughs> you know that We can do the spoiler one first. I gotta get all the shit off my chest. Yeah, so. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. New Hope, they destroyed the New Age Death Star. They destroyed the ten times bigger Death Star. They fucking Ford pulled the Ben Kenobi. I saw that one coming from yeah, a mile. Yeah, so did I. Yeah. So, uh, that was extremely obvious. It was just like, like I said, it can they combined yeah. all of the previous ones into one movie. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah, and nobody kid from a desert planet and all of a sudden has miraculous force powers that nobody ever fucking found in how long. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that she came across or managed to stumble across pretty the much uh, the only thing I kinda was kinda weary about was all of a sudden she has her powers and she knows yeah. how to use them. And she knows like how to use yeah. them. Yeah. It was like everybody else struggled and had years and years and years yeah. of training. Yeah. Luke Skywalker, I Obi Wan Kenobi, I had think all what, this training to. I think there is going to be a twist with that though. I think she's going to end up being Kylo Ren's sister. Actually, you, you know what really struck me as odd was Solo and Lance took to her. So I can kind of see like a, this is a long lost daughter because they never explain what happened to her parents. Yeah, and I kind of. See Maybe for yeah, but that. it kind of did whenever she was having her flashbacks. Well, they they, they left her on the planet. They, yeah, they took off. They never explained why or how or what happened there. Or... Well, the dad was still with them. The mom went <laughs> up and out in, in, in the movie, actually. Oh, was that the dad? They were just holding hands. They didn't show up. <laughs> yeah, because they showed the mom being taken away. And what I almost bet you is the mom was taken away and became that one stormtrooper that was in the old silver, the head chick. Mm -hmm. And I almost guarantee you that the father went after her to look for her. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I kind of felt well, the Now, what would be an interesting twist, though, is if that was actually Luke Skywalker's daughter. Yeah, I thought of that one as... Because in, in the yeah. novelizations and everything... Luke does end up having a daughter. Yeah. Yeah, I did feel like they're reliving four, five, and six just through the new yeah. age in a roundabout way. They're just doing it all over yeah. again. The CGI was pretty good. I was impressed with that. But yeah. yeah. That, but like when they like when they went into uh, hyperspeed, it reminded me so much of Doctor Who. Yeah. I, 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 I expected to hear the woo. <laughs> yeah. Every time they went into hyperspeed, I thought of Star Trek. Yeah. I was just like, whoa. That was next. I don't know. I'll have to see the. Uh, I'm sure, they'll do a trilogy just like they always will. Yeah. So we'll have they will. They've happens. already scheduled it. I'm almost kind of happy that I didn't buy the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm really mixed about it. Yeah. I'm it, very mixed. It's just yeah. like, it wouldn't be worth my money to see. Yeah. No. It, it was a good movie. It was, it was cool. Like I told you, it, it, it was, was good scary. entertainment, yeah. but... I, mean, I don't want to just troll a movie as, you know, five seconds after you just saw it, but that was... It's like they're trying to just reinvent the story, and it's already there. That and... Expand on it, you know? It's and already there. The story's there. It Pretty didn't. Much, here's this, it this didn't really show. seem like a Star Wars movie. Pretty much, yeah. it was like this. All right, there's good guys and bad guys, the Empire and the Rebellion. Yeah. They collide. One foreigner comes in, saves the day. Bam. Yeah. Like I said, <laughs> and, and, yeah. and then the uh, the mentor of the group gets killed. Yeah. I tell you, I saw you know, Ford pulling the Ben Kenobi from a mile away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. It was extremely obvious. And, and I, first, I didn't like the... The kid struggled like Anakin. The Kylo Ren uh -huh. character struggles just like Anakin did. And whatever twisted shit he has going on. I didn't like that 
Kylo Ren, they went back and forth between the helmet and non-helmet. And yeah. It's either it keep very, it on or don't. His helmet right. was very Vader-like. I like, you saw like, the flare at the back. Yeah. Used to have. Well, I mean, throughout the whole entire movie, he's trying to be just like his grandfather, Darth Vader. Yeah. When was, Darth Vader actually turned to the light side of the Force at yeah, the end of Jedi. Yeah. Jedi. Well, on the old futuristic space age technology shit that they got going on they still can't get dentures right i'm not sure if you guys are hung up on leia's denture actions that, actually yeah. bugged, bugged <laughs> that bugged the shit out of me yeah I thought the same thing. it's like jesus christ the only thing we're missing is fucking denture slips which turns into like herbert the pervert or something right. like. <laughs> that was bugging the shit out of me dude yeah but... for you know this is gonna be odd to say but every time han solo was on the screen it reminded me of Dad. Well, not only that, I mean, they're in the future, and they have all this technology and all these different plans, but they don't have anti-wrinkle cream. Oh, that's <laughs> so good. Enough. But see, it's it's like not comparing Dad to Han Solo or anything, or Dad to Harrison Ford, but just like the same physical appearance. Did you see the movie? Yeah. Okay, we're spoiling it over here. We don't want to ruin it for you. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Same, like, you know, physical size and hairstyle and everything. It's just dad. I couldn't really enjoy the movie because yeah. it looked like it seemed like I was watching my dad up there doing all this shit. Well, I'm just like I said. I'm just glad I didn't buy, pay for the tickets. Was, I mean, what did you think about it? Oh, it was pretty great. Yeah. See, we thought that it was pretty much the just reinventing four, five, and six. Yeah, all into one movie. Just kind of yeah. Seemed, yeah, like it had a lot of aspects from the movie. Yeah. I, I think three, four, and five in reverse order combined. Like when they went in there and like destroyed the, 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 the new age Death Star. Yeah, that was awesome. The Star Killer. Star Killer. <laughs> it was essentially a planet. Yeah. <laughs> Which, how can you turn a planet into a. I mean, what they do? They, they cut it in half and then pull it apart and. Perform surgery on it. Yeah, it was <laughs> very odd. I don't know. I'm mixed. Very mixed. I'll be curious to see what happens in the other ones. She'll trade with Luke and she'll be a half Jedi, and at the very end, she'll fight Kylo Ren and Kylo Ren, whatever, and then that'll be it. That's how it's going to go. Yeah, you can 20, already see it now. I, I still. 15, 20 years from now, they'll yeah. make another one that does the exact same yeah, thing. I'm 50, I, I yeah. still think there's some sort of family relationship between her and Kylo Ren. There's got to be a twist somewhere. Just yeah. like the Luke, I'm your father twist. There's, that one has to be See, the story somewhere. Do they ever say about Obi-Wan having any kids or anything like that? Uh-oh. No. He didn't. He was too in... Uh, the Jedi yeah. prohibited them from having kids. Yeah, he was actually a master in the Jedi Order, so... And then he took off to the planet to watch over Luke, so he's still technically a Jedi. Let's go down to the car, car <laughs> where it's warm. <laughs> it's a little cold air. Yeah. I definitely felt as if I was watching a new age, four, five, and six. Yeah. Very mixed about it. I'll have to see it for a second. They, they really took, since George Lucas wasn't directing it, it didn't really seem like a Star Wars film. It didn't have that finesse. Yeah. The flair of my first, my first thought, uh, when at the opening credits, when they did the theme song and all that, I knew right away it wasn't going to be anything like the George Lucas Star Wars, because they kind of cut it short. Yeah, it was a very short synopsis of Leia when the text flies up. Yeah, very very mixed about it. But I feel like I feel let down. I waited so long for this movie, I was really looking forward to seeing it, I just feel that down. I know it's only the first movie, and Disney's got their fucking dirty paws on it, but yeah. I feel let down, I do. Yeah. Like, throughout the whole movie, I, just, I don't know, I just didn't, wouldn't feel it. Yeah, the other Star Wars movies, even the Phantom Menace with Jar Jar Binks, it wasn't didn't have as much comedy as (coughs) 
Yeah. They got to work out the kinks, but you can definitely tell it was a J.J. Abrams film. Yeah, but usually J.J. Abrams is pretty good about well, the acting. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's good. He's good at directing, but coming into a fran uh, already existing franchise, it, I don't know. Fans go in expecting one thing and they get something completely different. Like with Star War, like with Star Trek, we knew it was going to be different. You know. Yeah. I thought it was more of a comedy than an actual Star Wars movie. Yeah. And I don't think it had going for it with the CGI. Yeah. I thought the CGI was excellent. The story, you know, the story of the Star Wars universe just was not there. Yeah. Just reinventing four or five minutes. And then... That's all I thought for the whole fucking movie. And then, what, the five minutes at the end where it's just... Uh, Ray, Ray and Luke Skywalker just... Gazing deeply into each other's eyes. Yeah. Well, you definitely tell that you know the second lunch is going to be training with them, so like Luke doesn't you know, get into it. Yeah. Because that's what we'll have to ride around on his back. <laughs> Hopefully that. Well, you never know. Yeah, that'd be fucking weird. He does have that metal hand, so. Yeah. Grab my good hand. Grab my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I didn't feel drawn to it like I thought I would. No. no. So long, I just feel right now. Definitely they hyped it up, and it was nothing. Definitely not worth the hype. It was a fucking spark and a poof. That's all it was. Yeah. Like I honestly can sit here and not remember what all happened in the movie, but I can just because I've seen all the other movies. Now. Right. Yeah. Like I cannot tell you other than Princess Leia and well, actually General Leia now. Yeah. Which, how do you go from a princess to a general? Well, her planet was destroyed, so she doesn't rule yeah, over much now. Been there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, seriously, I mean, yeah. it's just one of those things that in, they keep on getting kidnapped by the, by the Empire, or what, what do they call it now? The, the Empire. The First Order. First Order. Yeah, First Order, yeah. And of course, the girl gets kidnapped, and they rescue her, and then... Yep. Save me, Finn Kenobi, you're my only hope. <laughs> <Finn> Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs>